Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This week, I am embarking on a project called Week in the Life. And if you're not familiar with it, it's one that Ali Edwards started where you document every day for a week, you take pictures, you write down your stories. And so today's video is going to be all about my Monday. So I'm going to walk you through what I've already got started here and then I'll go ahead and put you on fast forward so I can get my Monday put together. So let's begin. You'll see that every day I'm going to start with a big six by eight photo. And then I have transparencies that I, I believe they were an extra add on. And also I did purchase the kit for this year. So you can find that and all of the Week in the Life items in Ali Edwards shop. So I've got this transparency that's got Monday on there. It's probably hard to see in the video. And then the day starts. I have a picture here of my daughter that she took. I had the camera out to take a picture in the morning and I found this when I was uploading them a little bit later on Monday. And then on the bottom, I have this Monday card and these came with the kit and I'm going to go ahead and put this little white chipboard piece up here once I get everything journaled on the bottom and in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the date on here with my date stamp. And then I have all my pictures printed and pretty much all of my cards picked out except for one. I do need to find a four by six that are, is going to go in here. And then I've got all my pictures printed. So I am pretty much ready to go. And I do have this one already journaled on. I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward so I can get working. All right, let's get started. I am going to begin with my big six by eight picture. On Mondays, usually I will try to dust and vacuum some of the rooms upstairs. So that's what I was doing on Monday. And so I grabbed my camera and took a selfie in the mirror that is on our wall in our bedroom. You'll see here that I am embellishing this picture with a couple of stickers and also the Monday chipboard. And what I plan on doing is using those days of the week on these big pictures. That way it'll stay a little bit uniform looking. I've gone ahead and slipped it back into its page protector. And I'm gonna move on to the other side. In the Week in the Life kit from Ali Edwards came these days of the week cards. And I'm gonna use one for each day, and this one is obviously Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and date stamp the date on there. And then right now, I know that I wanna add that little chipboard piece on top. Moving on to the four by six photo here of my daughter. I had discovered that she took a selfie while I had the camera out on the counter that morning. Um, I was uploading my pictures that afternoon and found this one, so I wanted to add it into the album. I've simply embellished it with the chipboard piece and then her initial. So let's move on to the other side. The plan is to try and stick with the same formula and the same size of page protectors each day. So that way it'll look more uniformed as well and you'll see that i have a four by six picture that was of me in the morning filling up the water bottles the next thing that i want to do is to put this journaling card together you'll see that i've already journaled on it i did do some prep work ahead of time and so i have this journal card ready to go i have this number three that i wanted to use 
The journaling on this card talks about how each morning I pull out three bowls and three spoons and three lunch pails and three water bottles. So I wanted to use that number three. And I also have this little rubber word. I believe it's from the December daily kit. And I have put that on top of the three. I didn't want to use any adhesive. And so I just went ahead and stapled it onto the card. And then I've also added a little circle chipboard piece from the Week in the Life kit on the bottom. And that card is done. So I'm gonna move on to the other side here. I have a couple pictures, I have a three by four, and then I also have a smaller two by two picture. And the little picture is from that night, Monday night. We went to a swim team kickoff party for some of my kids. So we took a picture, or rather I took a picture of us hanging out at the table. Right now I'm looking through some of the pieces that came in the kit to figure out which one I want to use. I'm gonna go with the triangle one that says today. It looks like a little banner. Next up is going to be this big six by eight photo that I took that night of the building where we were having the party. For each day in my album, I do want to start and end my days with these big six by eight photos. Right now I am stamping This Is May, and that stamp is from the Stories by the Month kit from Allie Edwards. I've stamped it three times kind of in an ombre. And then on the bottom here, you'll see that I've put that rubber piece that says Monday Stories. And that is also one of the items that I want to put onto these big pictures is the rubber piece for each day. The only thing that I did not have picked out before I started filming was this big four by six journaling card. So that's what I'm doing now is trying to figure out which one I want to use. I've gone ahead and picked out a card and put a stamp and also picked out a chipboard piece for that card. And then the rest will be filled out later. I need to put some journaling on there. So I'm going to move on to finishing up my pictures there at the top. What I'm doing now is adding the initials JJ for the neighborhood cat that is in the picture. He's been hanging around lately and uh, he seems to come and go and the kids love when he's around. You'll see that I also added a little chipboard arrow there to the photo and also picked out a word. And now you will see that I've added all of my journaling. What I did is I went ahead and did it all at once. And cause I had already had it written down in my phone that made it easy to just copy and paste and then put them into Photoshop and print them out on the journaling cards. I did go ahead and put a couple of stamps on this journaling card. You'll see that these journaling cards have two boxes that you can check and that last stamp was a check mark for the good day box so I went ahead and marked that and then I put a word phrase sticker underneath the other stamp that I put on the card and that one is done so I slip it in to the page protector and move on to my next card is this three by four card that I was able to add a lot of journaling onto and so it doesn't need any embellishing and I also add a chipboard piece to this photo of my son. This is how he decided to watch TV that day. So the star says, currently watching. I have one last journaling card to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that circle chipboard piece on there that says play day. The last thing that I want to do is to add a couple of either stickers or 
stamps or something onto this card to embellish it. So right now I'm just playing around with a couple of stickers. I have this star here that I end up putting on top of the word party. And then also I'm going to add a word phrase sticker, just deciding which one. I end up going with a longer one that I can tuck underneath of the word there. You'll see that is how it ends up. So I am done with that card. I'm going to slip it back into its pocket and move to the front and take one last look. Now, before I end this video, I do want to let you know that I have added a, another insert to this day. It just felt like it was missing a couple pieces of what happened during the day. I decided to not film that process, but to just add a couple of pictures here at the end so you can see what the full day looks like. So stay tuned for those pictures and I will see you next time. Bye.